uh, to uh, basically fetch the throne of KwaZulu. I spoke to one of the senior uh, members of the royal house yesterday, and he says this is very significant because uh, basically they're going to fetch Isitlalo Sigazulu, which means they're going to fetch the throne of KwaZulu, which is currently here in Gauteng, and take it back home to KwaZulu, uh, uh, back home at Kwakangilamangane Palace. So they're going to be doing some rituals here, and we do understand that those rituals will be carried out by some of the senior men within the royal family. So it is going to be a very private ceremony that will be held only by family members inside this particular hospital. And basically, they'll be uh, talking and uh, speaking to uh, the departed soul of the Queen Regent, uh, informing her that they are now going to fetch her spirits and take her back home uh, to Kwakangelama Gengane. And uh, we do understand that from here then, uh, that entourage will then make its way to Hillbrow Mortuary, where they are going to then uh, receive the remains of uh, the departed Queen Regent. And uh, from there, that's where then they will start that long track back to the palace of Kwakangelama Gengane. Of course, we do uh, I expect that there will be some uh, Amabuto as well as Izinduna. Yesterday I did speak to the head of Izinduna here in Gauteng, who did inform me that, uh, in fact, they were going to be gathering there to pay their last respects and uh, uh, to uh, bid the Queen Regent a good journey as she makes her way back home to Wazulu. So at this particular moment, we do understand, Tumelo, that uh, that entourage uh, will be making its way here uh, through this gate here behind me here at No Park Hospital. We do understand that it is quite a big uh, a delegation that is going to come here. Yesterday we did see quite a number of uh, vehicles uh, which were part of that convoy, and we do understand that there are more than 80 uh, members of the Royal House from both Eswatini uh, who are being led, of course, by uh, Umduana Ukuduza, as well as members of the Zulu Royal Family who will be coming here among them, uh, including princes as well as princesses, were also there uh, yesterday uh, uh, when uh, they arrived here. And, of course, they were uh, welcomed by the Premier, uh, David Makura. And we do understand that they will be escorted here by members of uh, the JMPD <coughs> as well as members of uh, the Gauteng uh, Police uh, Traffic Department uh, as they make their way here. So we are expecting <coughs> them to arrive here at Bill Park in about an hour's time from now. All right. Mangoba um, Mkune out at Mill Park Hospital. We leave it there for now. But I want to head over now to our colleague Ngobile Maglala, who's just outside of the Johannesburg Mortuary, where the Queen's remains currently are. Ngobile, early on when we had a conversation, I mean, again, hearing that singing, hearing those uh, isn't only those maidens paying their respects to the Queen, it seems it's still continuing. Uh, what's the latest from where you stand? Yes, that's right, Tumela. As you can hear, isn't just also celebrating and singing, and this is their way of showing respect to the Queen. I'm just going to let you listen just a little bit. All right. So they are singing, they're celebrating the Queen. This is some of Izindombi that we will be speaking to. But before I speak to them, I want to start with Umama here, and then I will come back to my sister here, Ma Utena Mthande. Ngendela <laughs> Yes, Ngengamanje <laughs> Yeah, 
Um, Gimel, just uh, Umama explaining to us that this is part of the tradition, and so they are here to pay their respects, that they will leave from Johannesburg to KZN, where they are going to be going with the departed Her Majesty Queen Mantombi, Damini Zulu. Now, we have Izindombi, the Zulu maidens, who had spoken to us about how they were heartbroken by the passing of the Queen. I just want to speak to them with regards to what are they doing here today. Ausfahrtweile, Singa <laughs> Well, as you can hear the Tumelo, Amatiti or Izintombi, the Zulu maidens, explaining to us that they are here to pay their respects, but also saying such words as everyone must come together, that this is a, this for them is a very hard so, but they are understanding that they need to go forward and they need to pay their respects the best way they know how to. I'm just going to let you listen quickly before I leave you, college. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, uh, ENCA reporters. Mangoba Mkunu out in Milpak Hospital and Ngobile Madala.